someone speaking about Israel, actually the welcoming, the a voice which is speaking about Israel's acts during the July 2006 war, its uh, uh, its bombs, the cluster bombs which it's used, which it used. This is this is a voice we can hear right now, the welcoming voice, and we're expecting to hear General uh, President Soleiman also have making a speech whereby he will of course also stress on the necessity of always being cautious against Israel of defending Lebanon. And by the way, President Soleiman is expected to begin with a national dialogue very soon that will include the dialogue about he, defense, he, about the defense strategy he is of speaking, Lebanon. Yes. We're, we're having some trouble over the audio, unfortunately, but he, he is speaking uh, at the moment. Yes, uh, he, he, is, he has begun to speak, that's right. And uh, I don't know if, uh, if you can uh, understand what, what he is saying, actually, but he's focusing on the necessity of being victorious. He's focusing also on the necessity of standing against Israel. He's, speak, he's criticizing Israel's policies in general, Israel's policies in the July 2006 war. He's also expressing his thanks to those who contributed to this prisoner swap. And of course, uh, he's also speaking about uh, the resistance, the important role it played in making this deal possible. And you were telling us earlier, I wonder if you could just uh, go back over what you were saying about who these dignitaries are and what they've all been through in terms of, uh, uh, well, they were all rivals, weren't they? Yes, they're all rivals. Actually, you can see people from many, many different uh, camps. You can see, of course, uh, the uh, you can see religious figures, Druze, Sunni, and Shiite. You can also see members. You can see, like you just saw the Iranian ambassador in Lebanon right now. Actually, you can see people. The future bloc. You can see. Uh, okay, Ali. Actually, we can go to the translation. We can go to the translation now. Let's listen in. We have to try to bring back all those who are still outside because of the straight jacket situation in the country and those who were uh, le they left the country under different circumstances which was spawned by the Israeli occupation and their return opens a new page in our, his in our, in our country and again the, the missing will also have to come back and revealing the truth about those who were obtained martyrdom and in, in doing so they planned freedom. Among them is the president Rafiq Hariri who without doubt is proud of this victory and who also protected the resistance until the last breath of his life. With the return of this, with the returnees, uh, a lot of people sigh a relief, a sigh of relief and a lot of, it's a huge relief for the returnees. As for those who feel estranged inside their own country, for whatever reason, I say to them, your, your country needs you. Dear brothers, I would like to ex extend a heartfelt congratulations on all those returnees and I also congratulate the resistance for this victory and I thank all those who contributed to releasing these prisoners and I say to Samir Puntar and his colleagues that they have the right to be proud of their country and their nation and their army their resistance as well, and their country which will never give up what it is right. Your return is a new, as a renewed victory, and the future is on your side, and it will be a very bright path. Together we will, vict will achieve victory. May you long live Lebanon and long live victory. The well, you watched it there, President uh, Sleeman of Lebanon congratulating the resistance movement even as he uh, celebrated uh, on the part of all of those dignitaries the release of these uh, five Lebanese prisoners, the f most famous of whom, uh, Samir Kantar, jailed for uh, three decades in Israeli jails, although uh, sentenced to half a millennium in Israeli jails. Ali, uh, are you still there? 
Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. And it was uh, certainly significant, of course, President Sleeman uh, congratulating the resistance movement. Yeah, yes, it was, of course, once again showing that uh, the, uh, his support for resistance. I also told you what he said about the Shuba farms uh, in France, where he said that this could be solved dipl diplomatically. By the way, if you could see on the screen, actually, the uh, sheikh who, who, was, who was there, who is now uh, was saluting one of the prisoners, that is the second in command in Hezbollah, Sheikh Naim Qasim. If you can see him, the uh, sheikh there who was just saluting uh, the uh, prisoners now. Of course, uh, as I was saying, our President Suleiman had some comments about the Shuba farm saying if this issue was not solved diplomatically, we could resort to military means. Now, this uh, is due to the fact that Gen President Suleiman, I'm sorry, was a military man. He was head of the army, in addition to the fact that he has always supported the resistance. Now, this speech today, of course, also puts an exclamation mark or underscores his, his total support for the resistance. He has always spoken positively of the resistance role in Lebanon and he, here he has stressed on this once again so of course as I said a very important issue which we can notice from today is that the relationship between Hezb between the political leadership of Lebanon and Hezbollah is expected to be a very very fruitful relationship and this could prevent any civil strife from uh, occurring once again in Lebanon so of course we hope that this could be it seems like it'll be an introduction for a period of calm we hope it stays like this as you can see there Samir Kontar the first prisoner uh, of, of that row now, who is saluting now a religious uh, figure, I believe, Christian religious figures who he's saluting now, if you could see him, the first prisoner to our side uh, standing on the row. So um, very, very significant, very, very, of course, uh, unique scene here in Beirut. And as I said before, the most important impact is that it appears to have a positive effect, a positive impact on the political situation and is uh, contributing to a kind of political reconciliation in the country. And to think, Ali, it was not long ago that we were talking about uh, what uh, uh, Mr. David Welsh uh, from the U.S. State Department was saying, that there would be a, there'd be a hot summer in Lebanon. Do you think this, uh, this uh, what we're watching here on our screens uh, shows that the U.S. State Department was, uh, well, was wrong again? It appears so, yes. This shows that the American administration uh, was wrong, was mistaken in, the, in these policies which it is uh, pursuing. Uh, David Walsh did say this. He said that this would be a hot summer, but here we have this prisoner swap which has come in. And I think this shows uh, that the role of this American administration in international affairs is diminishing step by step. Uh, of course, we have heard the comments made by the Russian president in general against...